If you want to get in contact with me, the best way to do it is on Instagram. If you just want to say what up, if you want to tell me you love my videos, if you want to tell me you hate my videos, the best way to do it is on Instagram. Peace, y'all. Johnny Fastlane here. So, wife and Lucci is still mad at Young Thug, and Black Youngster is about to become an ordained minister. Plus, 3-6 Mafia is back together. Let's talk hip-hop. I guess, you know, this YFN Lucci and Young Thug beef is gonna become like a 50 Cent and Ja Rule kind of beef or 50 Cent and Mayweather kind of beef. You know where? I guess they're just gonna be forever, right? Cardi B voice, right? But it's so funny, right? So y'all know, Young Thug dropped an album called um, So Much Fun, right? And everybody likes it. The album is dope. People are feeling it. I'm feeling it, right? Um, and it's cool, right? He has Gunner on a few songs on there. Whatever, right? It's a, it's a dope album. And I ain't here to talk about the album right now but anyway so YFN Lucci goes on Instagram um, story and he puts up a couple of posts cap ass album boy almost shitted on himself in Linux mall no cap right so I he ain't feeling the album but of course he's not gonna feel the album that's a, I don't give a damn if 50 cent drops something that's so fire Ja Rule is never gonna feel the album you know what I'm saying and of course he's gonna say something right so this is not surprising that wife and Lucci would even say anything but you know he said something right so if y'all don't know uh wife and Lucci and young thug they were beefing on social media back and forth back and forth um and then also uh young thug and uh sauce walker were beefing on social media right sauce walker's from texas so he probably ain't gonna run into young thug like that uh but wife and lucci's from atlanta so he probably will and has that's what i'm saying like they've probably been at the studio maybe not together obviously but in the same building next door oh you know lucci over there or they've probably been at some of the same events or shows or award shows or photo shoots or whatever you know what i'm saying they have to coexist in hip-hop in the same city together so i'm sure that they ran into each other right so it's nothing about oh i'm gonna fight you or whatever like that even though young Doug did say a couple of months on instagram he like i'm gonna slap the fuck out of lucci and um sauce walker when i see him right um but you know whatever right um it's funny you know uh why well, lucci ain't say too much but of course he's gonna troll it's trolling right of course he's gonna troll young Doug uh when young Doug drops his album right and it kind of almost is helping out young Doug because if wife and Lucci didn't say nothing about the album then I wouldn't have said anything about the album because now wife and Lucci is putting drama surrounding that album I listen to it it's cool I'm gonna move on right it's nothing that I got to talk about you know what I'm saying it's a cool album whatever whatever but now I am talking about the album because of wife and, wife and Lucci so ah I see what you're doing there and yo anytime something like this happens I you know I be thinking they working together even though they have beef Supposedly, but let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. Right now, on my partner Rich, we'll tell what we're doing right now, Rich. Man, we finna get this brother over here ordained and ready to get you guys married. I swear to God, it's a how many day contest? Ninety. It's a ninety day contest. So in order for you to be the winner, you have to explain why should I pick you to, to marry your, whoever you with. Whoever. So. You explain yourself and you put pounds church on Sunday, but you gotta express yourself on your page. You can't express it to the, no one else but on your page. And we all gonna agree if you person or not. There you go. Sign up right now. I swear to God, oh Jesus. Church on Sunday. Alright, yo, so Black Youngster's in New York, right? And I've seen him with a straight jacket on, like, ah, you know, and why do I have a straight jacket on? Cause, 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 cause I went crazy on my album, cause I, cause I, cause I went crazy on my album, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all know how Black Youngster is, right? Um, and then he's in the middle of the street, and I don't know why he has on a coat. He has on a coat, alright? In 85 degree weather in New York, right? He got on a coat. But it's fire though, but I mean, I guess he should have waited like one more month when it started getting a little cold because it does get cold like mid-September in New York, but the dude had on a coat, right? And Black Youngster is funny, right? Because he's in the middle of the street and he's like, I'm going to get married. I'm going to marry one of y'all. Tag me down there at church on Sunday. I'm going to marry one of y'all, right? And so at first I was thinking like, what is he talking about? He's going to marry somebody. So it sounded like he's just going to marry like a random fan, right? And I think that's what other people thought too, because I'm looking through the comments and a lot of the comments and say like yo you should marry my friend uh, blah 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 she loves you or hey black youngster I want to get married hashtag church on Sunday right um 
But then he explains it a little bit more on his IG story, right? And he's sitting with this dude and he's like, yo, we about to get a black youngster ordained so that he can marry you, right? Not, he's not gonna get married to you. He's gonna be the one performing the marriage as an ordained minister or as an ordained pastor, which is crazy. So he's saying, I want you to go on your Instagram page, tag me on everything that you're doing on church on Sunday is what you're gonna tag me on because that's the name of his album, his new album. And he's like, I want you to tell me why you and your significant other should be married and I'm gonna pay for the whole thing. That's what he was saying. I'm gonna marry y'all and I'm gonna pay for the whole thing, right? I'm telling you, you could fly cousins out. You could do whatever you wanna do. He's paying for it, right? Uh, this is cool. It's a 90 day challenge and I think this is fire, man. I mean, a dope way to promote like love and, and togetherness and just something that's cool and fire and dope. Like tell me why you love your significant other. Tell me why you love them all over your social media page. Make sure you tag me. Make sure you hashtag my album name and whoever I decide has the best love, I guess you know I'm paying for y'all to get mad. I mean why not? You know what I'm saying? Like that's a fire contest. I've seen rappers do other contests before but this is cool because it's rooted in togetherness and love and partnership and companionship a companionship which is dope um let me know what y'all think about this in the comments yo this is fire right because a lot of people been waiting on this forever right including me to where is three six mafia gonna get back together or not right and yo listen i remember like three six mafia from back in the day when they had gangsta boo and la chat and whoop whoop chicken chicken whoop whoop chicken head you know what i'm saying project pat and everybody but project pat kind of still does work with three six mafia well i mean he works with juicy j because they're literally brothers right they're blood brothers so of course they're gonna work together Together, right um I'm looking for that 2005 uh, 3 6 Mafia where we had Crunchy Black, DJ Paul, and Juicy J, right? Because they were fire together, right? But there's been many, many, many uh, people down with 3 6 Mafia over the years, right? And they are getting back together, right? But not for an album, at least not yet, right? Not for a project. They're getting back together for a tour, right? Which is dope, it's smart, that's fire. Because, I mean, look, Bad Boy did it, right? Where all of them put their, um, their issues to the side, where Mace went on tour, uh, Puffy, The Locks even was there, Mary J. Blige, Faith Evans, Little Kim, uh, Carl Thomas, 112, like mad people did it, like on Bad Boy, right? Uh, and then French Montana and the new Bad Boy came out, Machine Gun Kelly and all them too, right? Uh, B2K did it with the Millennium Tour, and you know Lil Fizz and Raz, they don't never want to be around each other, but they was around each other, right? Because you getting that money on the road, and this is not no like club tour, this is like huge stadium because people have that nostalgia, people are gonna come out and see you, right? So 3-6 Mafia is smart to do this, right? They're about to get together, they're about to go on tour, and they're going on tour with special guests, uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony, right? Oh man, like all of the Bone Thugs and Harmony, right? And DMX, right? So I mean, come on, that is fire, right? DMX, Bone Thugs and Harmony, and 3-6 Mafia on tour, right? And then it says, on the poster, it started in October, it says that Gangsta Boo is gonna be there, right? Crunchy Black is gonna be there. Uh, Project Pat is gonna be there. Lil White is gonna be there. La Chat is gonna be there. Like, Lil White, like, Lil White is one of them white rappers that everybody sleeps on, right? He was fire, I don't care what you say. And he used to go off, yo, when he was on 3-6 Mafia. But he never, like, after he left 3-6 Mafia, he never, like, did his thing on his own, right? But he came out with Finally Famous. Like, I fucks with Lil White, you know what I'm saying? This is, like, back in the day type shit, right? Um, but this is cool, uh, and I'm looking forward to it, and I, I'm gonna go see this tour. Plus, y'all know DMX is my favorite rapper, and I've never seen Bone Thugs and Harmony perform, but I'm down to see that too. But um, let me know what y'all think about this and everything else in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Make sure y'all hit that notification bell. Follow me at Johnny Fastlane on Instagram, and y'all already know what to do. Peace.